Hello, and welcome to what will surely be the final episode of The God of Crawling Eyes. I figured it out. I finally figured out how to get away from the dreaded mm, slime stuff. For you see, first we must run, as you could have assumed by the um, running that took place in the last video. And then we must do the slightly thinkable. It's normally unthinkable on account of, well, you've never done it before, but we must do this. How in the hell was I supposed to know that? I mean, it seems obvious now, but we've never been able to interact with that in any way whatsoever during the previous ones. So how was I supposed to figure that out? Huh? Huh? Uh. Also, I'm pretty sure we could have done it to save the girl, but this guy's my bro, and I don't even know that chick. Gotta save my bro, yo. What are you doing? That must be the key that sees! Hand it over. I bet it opens this door. Woo! Door opening! It's actually more like a crevice, but it worked! Wanna see what's back there? We don't really have a choice. Question mark? There's... something outside. Our only option is to press forward. Heavy. Well, I've been itching to check this out anyways. See you on the other side. Ah, we're gonna die. We're all gonna die. Ah, <sighs> wonderful. Where the hell'd he go? And stop watching me! You pop up when I walk. You're creepy. And they actually- holy shit, they are watching me! Look, the eyeballs are following me! That is creepy! Quit watching me! Just stop. So Chase, nothing? That sucks. Man, all that build up for nothing is more disappointing than the ending to Bloodstalker 6 when you find out that the main character was just having a dream was just a dream the arch vampire was having. What now? I don't know. Maybe we should take a breather for a second. Yeah. Things seem calmer here. Remember when we first met? Yeah, back in elementary school when I first moved here. Yeah, but do you remember, like, when we first became friends? Not really. That was so long ago. It's okay that you don't remember. It wasn't like it was a big deal or anything. You just sat next to me in the cafeteria and I started talking about horror movies. That doesn't surprise me. The thing is, though, everyone else who ever sat by me never stayed there for longer than a couple of minutes. So I know it was just another day for you, but me, I'll never forget it. I even remember what the cafeteria was serving for lunch that day. Mini corn dogs. This is getting creepy. I feel so stupid for remembering that. What made you bring all this up? I just want you to know that I'm really, really sorry. Don't kill me. We're cool, bro. Are you sacrificing me? Because I was going to sacrifice you. This is bullshit. You can't pull a one-two on me. Also, they are in perfect unison. And I just got clocked, didn't I? Oh, shit. No. He is sacrificing me. That hoe bag. How dare he? I was going to be his homie. To see the blackened rat hiding deeper than our souls. What is this? Let go of me! Chase, you've got to help me! We summon you to soak the ground with the blood of the innocent. Chase? How can you just stand there? I thought we were friends! You're wasting your breath, child. He has chosen to live in the shadow of he who watches. The shadow of the god of crawling eyes. Hell yeah! Chase for the win. Anyone moves and I'll move my knife. We never should have let you in the circle. I can think of 17 movies off the top of my head where someone's been in the same situation. You say one more word and I'll reenact my favorite. Yay for creepy best friends! You do! And tie my friend standing against the wall. That's right, do what he says. Max, move over and help me tie her down. Hell yes! Sacrifice buddies! You can't do this! Hey, Max. When I say so, run away and don't look back. Promise me, okay? Yeah, sure thing, Chase. Oh, that is kick-ass. Run! Untie me! Quick! You fools! You are the sacrifice. <laughs> 
Yay! Me and Chase are sacrificed, but that is like the closest bond a person can get. You've heard of Blood Brothers? Well, this is and they're watching Dragon Ball Z. That is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best ending ever. I'm surprised you like this kind of thing. Wouldn't you rather watch a horror movie? You know, I think I'm gonna take a breather from the horror genre. Say, Max, you know I just joined that cult so I could stop it, right? Sir, sure you did. Seriously! I'm just messing with you. Good. Alright, boys. I've got to go to work early tomorrow. TV off. I've got it, Miss Seal. And Bartholomew's are here. This is just really the greatest ending ever. This is great. I like it. I like it. <coughs> oh no! Oh, it's just, uh, it's just the Illuminati. It's okay, though. It's okay. They're always watching. The God of Crawling Eyes. That was the game we just played by Casey Ozaimai. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Script used. Wartana's multiple fogs. No one makes multiple fogs like Wartana's. The end. Self-explanatory, that one. Uh, this was the greatest ending ever. And the American flag's back. And I've unlocked the trophy room, which I can only assume is that one. Awesome. And now, for no reason whatsoever, I've also unlocked the drama room. Yes. We like. Okay. Is there more game? Is there more game to this game? What's going on? Stop. Okay. Hammer time. No. But, Mom, I only know if it's working. If you're like 40% of the last trial group, you'll start seeing colors. Yeah, but how will I know if they're the right colors? What do you mean? Ah, oh, this is the beginning of the game again. Yellow, blue, green. I know they mean something to you, but to me, they're just words. They don't mean anything. Don't worry so much, Max. They'll mean something to you soon. But what if my yellow isn't the same as yours? What if what I see is yellow, you see is green? What if it's some color that no one's ever seen before? Hmm. I guess we wouldn't know. You can always stop taking them if you don't like what you see. Yeah, it's just that sometimes I hate that I don't have normal eyes. Come on, Max. You know I hate it when you talk like that. They're my eyes. The mother carries the gene now. Just try to stay positive at school today. I guess I'm doing the beginning again, because last time I sort of skipped it, so let's... Let's do it all again. For no reason. Other than to do it again. And then we can check out those two new rooms. You can sort of skip to the end if, if you don't want to wait for, the, for, for me to do everything again. <clears throat> hey, Max! Oh, hello, my sacrifice buddy. Hey, Chase. Did you catch stories of the macabre last night? I must have forgot about it. I've just had so much on my mind lately. Hey man, it's not like you owe me. Owe to yourself to watch. This week's episode was called The Unseen Terror. There was this giant squid monster in the lake, which just happened to be where all the high schools went to make out. You'd think the girl would ask her boyfriend where they were going, and when he says, Oh, I thought we'd go have sex on a blanket next to a body of water so black and deep that we can't possibly see the creature dwelling beneath, the girl would put an end to the date. I guess that would be a pretty short movie. Anyways, you can totally tell the tentacles are rubber when they come out of the water, but there's a moment when they're just under the surface. Like that scene in Jaws, where you stop thinking that you're watching a movie, and it's like the monster's real, and the danger's real, and your heart's going crazy. Actually, uh, I picked this last time, let's pick this one. Horror films aren't really my thing. I just told you I'd watch it since you seem so into it. Oh, dude, you should have told me sooner. I just go on and on about them all the time. I must have been boring you to death. It's okay. Sacrifice buddies, me and him. Sacrifice buddies, I hate Jim. Don't look now, but Lily's nine o'clock. What did I do? Don't look at me. After I asked Sarah Jarvis out, her and her friends giggle whenever I walk by. Hmm. Ah. 
the admire her from afar leads to her walking off. Far away. Another missed opportunity. I'm biding my time. So you like her? Well, I mean, I don't know. It's not like I know or anything. If Cyborg Homicide 2125 taught me anything, it says he's probably a secret murder bot anyways. <coughs> See, they heard that and they were like, oh shit, he knows. Quick, switch to Plan Delta. Plan Delta. <laughs> I'll see you after class. Later. Goodbye, sacrifice buddy. You will be missed. But not that much. Ah. The circulatory system contains essential components for life. While blood's primary purpose is to carry oxygen and nutrients throughout the body, it is composed of several different parts, such as white blood cells that combat foreign substances. Can anyone tell me the cells that are responsible for clotting? And no one gets it. Platella tits! Correct, Lele! It's good to know that at least one of my students did the assigned reading. Max, why don't you tell me the technical term for platelets? Um... Next time I ask you a question, Mr. Sieko, make sure that you know the answer. I'm sorry, ma'am. When these platelets, or thrombocytes, are exposed via a cut or scrape, it's actually not the air that causes them to activate. Instead, the collagen in the skin that is normally not present in the bloodstream makes contact with the thrombocytes and causes them to clot. This clot is only a temporary solution to the problem. The thrombocytes also secrete chemicals that attract fibroblasts, which repair the damaged vessels. For most small wounds, platelets work fine, but there are times when the blood flow is too great for the platelets to work fast enough. Such as a sharp knife to the neck. <laughs> Mr. Siako, could you please tell the principal that the custodian still hasn't placed the light? Hell no, I'm going straight to the trophy room. Mr. Siako? And then the drama room. Right, sorry! To the drama room! I need to go to the drama room. Yes, you do! You need to go to the drama room! I guess we have to go through some more sit before we can go through that. Alright, buddy. I gotta go to the principal's office. And would you look at this glorious bear! I mean, come on! I know I went over it last time, but this is a glorious bear right here, man. This bear is freaking glorious. I love this bear. This is awesome. Hey, douche. Yes? Miss Blackmore sent me. The light? Yes, sir. The fluorescent bulbs were ordered last week. They still haven't arrived. I'd advise you to tell Miss Blackmore to be patient, but she'd probably bite your head off. Uh, it was a joke. Right. Just tell her that I'll take care of it soon. Yes, sir. So, Bartholomew, make sure to kill that bear. We will use it as a muffin. Hey, Max! What is up, my sacrifice, buddy? What are you doing here? Miss Coburn caught me watching the Crimson Death instead of doing my typing drills. Since I'm a repeat offensive, Principal Labman is supposed to elevate my punishment, whatever that means. I'd have gone in, but I heard voices in there. Why were you here? The lights in Miss Blackmore's room are starting to flicker, so she sent me to ask about fixing them. Man, she's such a bitch. I'm not looking forward to seeing her that period. But you are looking forward to sacrificing her! Um... You know what? Never mind. What? Miss Blackmore said something earlier, but it's probably nothing. I better get back to class. Alright, later, man. Ah, you ever notice how we sound exactly the same, Chase? We've got to stop meeting like this. I can already type a hundred words per minute! Why can't I take a little me time? Being a student is stressful. Ah, uh, yep. It's even more stressful than being a sacrifice buddy! The best type of buddy. <sighs> well? He said that it'll take care of it soon. That'd be great news if I had any faith in our principal's competence. But I suppose it's the best I could hope for. You may take your seat, Mr. Sieka. As I was saying, mammals and birds have a four-chambered heart, as do some primitive fists, though the chambers are ordered sequentially. Reptiles, on the other hand, beam. They beam. Reptiles beam for survival. Um, are you all right? Your dress and the apple. What color are they? Red, of course. Why? I've never... I normally can't see. I cannot see... SCREAM! Uh, you... What did you do? How come you always assume it's me? You think I did this? It wasn't me! 
Wait. Where's Miss Blackmore? Do you think she could have done this? We need to get out of here. I'm not leaving this classroom. Are you crazy? Whoever did this is out there. You can go if you want, but I'm not taking that risk. Wait! My name is Lily. <laughs> Try to stay hidden, Lily. I'll call the police as soon as I can. <laughs> Would you like to say it now? Well, I said have, but I didn't. Ah. So you know what this means? This means we are in, like, an albino school. Because her dress is red, and that is red, but everything else in the entire school, including the students and the hair of the students, is either white or black. We are in, like, the weirdest part of the nation where everything is black and white. Because I can see colors now. That blood is red. This apple is red. I'm seeing the colors perfectly, and it's all just black and white. We have just, like, the weirdest little dress code in the world. Can we finally go to the drama room? Sweet! There is nothing here except for Bartholomew. And maybe another ending, because you could probably run in here and then push this. But I don't know. That'd be neat. Be like a secret hidden ending. Yeah, and there's the poster. Looks like a bunch of drama club's costumes. Should I try on one? Yay! Which one? Sop Dress Max. Oh my gosh, I look awesome. Which one? Uh, Valiant Max. <laughs> I have a fucking cape. <laughs> I have a cape. This is great. Try on... K9 Max. Yes! <laughs> I am a dog! This is the greatest! Oh my gosh! So great. I'm a fucking dog. Let's go in here. Oh wait, this place is still locked. I have no idea how to unlock that. And we are not going to. But this! We have unlocked. Oh! Hello. Put our school doesn't excel at academics, sports, or anything, really. But we still had a room in the budget for a trophy room. Please try to fill this room so the school board doesn't think I'm a fraud. And I could, uh, who are you? Sir, it makes me feel uneasy, but I'd still rather watch this than two and a half men. <laughs> Cause that so is terrible. <laughs> okay, what is this, anyways? A scene on TV! Obtained from Chase's A ending. Sweet! We've got a trophy! And did no one notice I'm a fucking dog? Ah, uh, I don't care if they notice or not. Chase! Chase! Look at... Uh, the American flag is... Is still in color, but the rest of it is not in color at all. This is a weird-ass school. Even their dogs have no color. Chase, I'm a dog! <laughs> Chase, look at me. Max! Why are you a dog? <laughs> because... Woof, woof. I just tackled you. Ha ha ha. They're locked, Mac. When I came back from the principal's office, you were a fucking dog. Do you have any idea why I'm a dog? I don't know, man. I heard rumors, but I just don't know. What do you mean? Okay, so remember last year when Travis Miller turned into a dog? Yeah, there was an Amber Alert. I remember seeing his dog on the news. Didn't he end up saying he was a dog? He didn't turn into a dog. He was a cat. Right here at the school. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm done. This was fantastic. This is great. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.